I present to you guys the new Hydro Rex design from the SP Rex series. This design consists of an internal hydrostatic pressure unit with an integrated digital chart recorder. This system is available in nine models to pressure up up to 30,000 psi with multiple liquid flow ranges. This is a light case yet rug mobile waterproof case. This is portable and real easy to travel with. All it is is just a clip, come up, bend over. It is easily to move um, to any offshore work or any type of field work. It is easily to open. And our system consists of a pressure relief valve, isolation valve, driven air pressure, air pressure valve on and off, our air regulator with integrated gauge, our analog gauge, and our digital chart recorder gauge. This is your air inlet supply, and this is your air consumed. This is your analog output pressure gauge, and this is your digital chart recorder. If you're doing something simple as for checking for leaks, and don't require a test report, use your analog gauge. But if you do require a test report, use your digital uh, chart recorder. If you need a chart recorder printout, there are several ways you can access it. If you can connect to your chart recorder to Wi-Fi, you can electronically send it. Another option uh, you can use on the system, it has a USB port that you can save your test report and later print it out. Your chart recorder's power consists of a 110 volt port that you can connect a, any type of extension to it. Now just press the on and off button and give it 10 seconds so it has a small delay. Inside the case, we will include a digital chart recorder data sheet and a pressure system data sheet. The digital chart recorder has an easy setup, configuration, and reporting with easy software interface and it's a 110 volt power supply. In this video, we're showing the SP30,000 rigs, which is a 30,000 PSI pump, which shows accuracy depending on the pressure you are working with. On the outside of the case, we have our ports. We start with the air inlet port, liquid inlet port. We have pressure release port and output pressure port. Depending on your model and pressure, your output pressure port might change from a 3 8 MPT fitting to a quarter inch high pressure fitting. Your pressure release port will always be a quarter inch MPT port. Your air inlet and liquid inlet will always be 3 8 MPT port. For liquid side, we will pro provide a fitting that you can connect and use a standard uh, garden hose to provide your liquid. It's optional that you connect your air with. Once your digital chart recorder is on, in the center of it, you will find the user's manual. We just scroll down or you can print out if you have any questions or how to use it.
for any maintenance work, repairs, or regular inspection. This bottom part is removable. You'll just have to take all the bottom screws off. Okay. I'm going to lift it up. This valve here is a solid valve, so it'll help push up. Now here we have our air filter, our pump, our electrical box for our uh, digital chart recorder, and our transducer. All the tubing and components are stainless steel, except for these low pressure hoses. They're flexible to give us access to open and close our panel. Now here we have a drain, just in case uh, you have a leak and there's an overflow of any liquid, it won't damage our electronical box. Now we're going to show you the inside of the electrical box, just to give you an idea of the components. So this is the inside of our, our electronical box. If for whatever reason the digital chart recorder is not functioning or there's no power to it, always make sure that your connections are properly connected. Improper function can be caused by excessive movement from any transportation or whatsoever. So always uh, check first that the connectors are properly connected before contacting service. So now I will be showing you a sample test to describe the functions on the system. Now we're going to connect our, our fittings to our ports. We're going to start off with the air inlet and the liquid inlet. In this case, we have a 30K system and we'll be using a quarter inch high pressure to M9 connector. First, we're gonna install our hose, water hose. Next, we're gonna install our air. Last, we're gonna sample test this hose to 10K PSI. Before functioning or connecting any air hose or water hose, make sure all your valves are closed. To prevent it from malfunctioning. Now you can open your air shop supply and your water supply. Always make sure you have 100 PSI or above to function the pump. Next step is to purge the system. So we're gonna open our relief valve to let all of our air and bubbles out. So now we're gonna open our isolation valve and our air pressure valve. We're gonna open the regulator slowly So you hear the pump starts pumping just to get out of the air particles from the hose. So now that we know that our system is purged and we got all the air bubbles out, we're gonna close our relief valve. And now we're ready to begin testing. We're gonna turn on our digital chart recorder which is the ESI-USB icon. Give it around 10 seconds uh, for it to display. So our digital chart recorder is up. It's in bars, 
So I will be switching it, the units to PSI. Now I will be clicking start. Now we're gonna begin testing. We're gonna slowly open the regulator. We'll be testing at 10K, but we're gonna reach 3000 to let it stabilize. Now on the digital chart recorder, we're showing around 3000 PSI. Now we let it stabilize for 15 seconds. We're gonna bring it up now roughly to 6000. And we're gonna let it sit for another 15 seconds. Now our digital recorder is showing 6,000. Our 15 seconds are over. Now we're gonna bring it up to our pressure, which is 10,000 PSI. Now we're gonna close our air valve. And now our, our, chart record, our digital recorder is showing 10K. We're gonna close our isolation valve also. In this model, it took roughly 40 PSI of consumed air to reach our 10,000 PSI pressure. We're finishing up our test um, after 15 minutes we're still at 10,000 um, we're gonna decrease our pressure now but depending on your procedures that you have if you have a plus or minus um, your temperature can variate that um, it can decrease or decrease your PSI of whatever you're testing. Um, always watch out for that. So this is one of the displays that shows uh, pressure and temp. Um, you can also see your graph and it also shows your temp and pressure. Now that we're finalizing our test, we're gonna press the stop button to stop recording. Once your, once your test is stopped and you wish to save it, go to File Manager, type in the name of test or name of procedure that you wish to and press Save. It'll pop up. You will write your file name again and save it. So now we're going to slowly relieve the pressure. Once you see that there's no pressure, I recommend that you close your valves, release your air regulator. So that on your next test there won't be a problem in this video we only showed the basic of this digital chart recorder but it has a lot of more different features i recommend for you to read the user's manual which is on file if it's a bit uh, complicated then you can request a training in the center of it you will find the user's manual We just scroll down or you can print out if you have any questions or how to use it.
Training will be by our partner in this unit by Special Law Instrumentation Specialized in Digital Systems. If you think this equipment meets your requirements, please contact hydrorex.com.